What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Sienna version. Last episode we began making our way through the super secret cult forest and taking down the team rocket grunts that are in here. Nobody really knows why they're here just yet but they're team rocket and they're up to no good so of course we've got to put an end to them and today we're going to continue our trek through here and over hopefully to the first gym, the first city with a gym rather. I don't really know if we're going to make it but we're trying something different out today and showing off the fan art spotlight at the very beginning so thank Thank you guys that sent in those very cute drawings of Gramit. I wanted to try something different out with the format of the fan art, uh, so I think I'm going to start showing it off at the beginning of the episodes, of course, if there is any fan art uh, for that episode. And if you guys would like to submit some of this or any playthrough in the past, you can do so at twitter.com slash munchingorange. Uh, just because I tend to stand around a lot and do nothing in the game, which is kind of what I'm doing right now. So if you guys are excited for some more Sienna action, make sure to hit that like button and show your support. Now here we have have a little rocket grunt with a hint for us. We're after Floatern, recently rumored to be around this area, the most elusive Pokemon in all of Voltan. I don't think we've had any luck, but will you have any luck? I don't really think so, man. I think some days I wake up really lucky, and other days I just wake up super unlucky, but... Then again, that might be everybody thinks that way, but I really do feel like some days I wake up and I just have this insane amount of coincidences or luck, so... Maybe today will be one of our lucky days. As you see, we already have gotten pretty lucky at the very end of the last episode. Uh, we actually got Kiwi to evolve at level 14, which I thought was a little bit early, but hey, evolved into Delinqui. Look at him. I don't really know much to say about it. I'm not a huge fan of the design, I gotta say. It just kind of reminds me of Drudigon. And even though I know a lot of people probably really like Drudigon, I just think he's kind of weird. Like, he looks like he's a mashup of a couple of different dragon Pokemon pieced together. And I guess I'm getting that vibe from Delinqui. Maybe because just too many colors or something. But I don't know. Maybe it's actually also doesn't really fit in with Kiwi, in my opinion. Like, the previous evolution of it was super cute with the egg shell on its head. And now I'm not really sure what the heck is going on with uh, Delinqui here. So, I don't know, maybe that's just personal. You guys can let me know what you think. But definitely, if you missed the last episode where Delinqui evolved, uh, you should check go check it out. Oh man, I can't even say that. But uh, we got another Rocket Grunt with some Zubats and stuff. We've actually just been taking on a lot of Rocket Grunts. And um, fortunately for us, because this guy's got Zubat and Golbat, that means that Gramit here... While it might be an unlikely candidate to take them down, he actually learned a new move at the very end of the last episode, and that was Thunder Punch. So, I'm suspecting that Gramit here, the cute awesome little grass monkey, is actually going to evolve into a grass and electric awesome monkey. So, we'll definitely about to find out. I think he might just, yep, already get the level 16 just off of one battle. So, I think Gramit is literally about to evolve already, but... Hey, if you want to keep feeding him more experience, let's go for it, man. Let's take on this Zubat. Um, I've also been trying to decide, you know, which of the other Pokemon we're going to kind of keep along. But I guess we'll wait until we get to the Pokemon Center. And uh, then we can figure all that stuff out. Because for now, as I just mentioned, I think Gramit is going to be evolving. You sure taught me a lesson. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't know what kind of lesson I taught you. But we're about to get taught a lesson in evolution. Darwinism at its finest here. What is Gramit going to evolve into, though? Oh, man. I'm not sure if I'm liking the look of this so far. Let's find out. Hey! It's... a press. Alright, this Pokemon's got ass in its name, and I don't know if that necessarily means anything for how it's going to do, but... Hey, it looks kind of cool. I don't know how to say its name, though. Is it a Prass? A Prass? Just a Grass Monkey still. Not a Grass Electric. So maybe my prediction was wrong. But then again, he does have Thunder Punch. It just, it, maybe it made sense to me. But who knows? It might just learn all of the punches. Well, actually, I don't know about Fire Punch because he's a Grass type. But still, we got another Rocket Grunt to go into. You're in too deep. Prepare to nestle in failure. Wow. Just so many Rocket Grunts around here. And such awesome Pokemon. Look at this diversity, dude. They got the... The coughings. Actually, I'm hating on it right now, but they have had some pretty good diversity in Pokemon so far. I think last time we fought a whole bunch of Sand Shrews, though. And then today so far, starting off, we got kind of the more standard Team Rocket Pokemon. Okay, speaking of that, uh, comes out Drowsy. So, maybe not so, I guess, generic Team Rocket Pokemon. Generic Team Rocket Pokemon, I think more of the Zubat, Coughing, and uh, Arbok, of course. Um, I guess you could also consider, I don't know, like Growlithe? Is Growlithe even a Team Rocket Pokemon? I don't think it is, man, but 
we're gonna make quick work of this little drowsy here and uh, move along to the next rocket trainer but I guess what I was trying to say is they've definitely had a little more diversity than the Kanto variations of these guys though not really any Fakemon on their side uh, we've seen this region is definitely a combination of Kanto and like its own weird Fakemon um, some of them have been pretty awesome so far some of them well I don't know actually I guess I just since we got to the evolutions of them I haven't been as huge of a fan at least uh, the two that we've seen so far with Delinqui and uh, Apras or however you say that but maybe uh, they'll redeem themselves later on. I'm actually going to try to train up Magbit as well. So going to use a little bit of switching in and out. Actually, you know, we could probably take on this Rattata. This thing is only level 7. I mean, we're doing no damage with Pound. Oh, God. Okay. Maybe maybe not. Uh, maybe we need to bring out uh, Apras here. Gosh, I still don't know. I'm never going to know how to say this Pokemon's name. So I think I just need to choose some kind of one, one pronunciation and just roll with it, you know, because who knows what it actually is. So I, I guess we'll just go with... Uh, Apras? Apras? I uh, still don't know what to go for. We're gonna call him, uh, Curious George. Yes, that's, that's his name from now on. I mean, it's kind of just a nickname without actually having a nickname on him. But we'll, we'll call him Georgie. There we go. So from now on, everyone, we will know this starter here as Georgie. Until I can give him a nickname, maybe one day we can actually do that. Uh, there'll be like a name relearner, or name raider, rather, not relearner. I don't think, uh name relearner would be too helpful like if you forgot your own name that's just you're past the point of no return man anyway speaking of point of no return uh pokemon sun and moon news is coming on may 10th i'm not sure if you guys like follow the news uh aside from when i do the updates i guess but i feel like with sun and moon it's definitely been super hype and so many people are getting and jumping along the news as well so hopefully you guys have heard of this but yeah may 10th man i'm so excited and hopefully i'll have a video for you guys on that tomorrow but for now here is our rival uh harry max one of those two finally took you long enough to get here just beyond me, there's another one of those guys with black shirts. However, this guy seems to be much stronger than the rest. I think he's the leader of this group. I tried to beat him, but alas, he's really strong. I think you should give it a try, Orenji. If you beat him, then perhaps all the others will leave. Why don't you know who Team Rocket is? Does... Is it been that long since they've been around? I don't know. Your Pokemon are worn out from the previous battles. Hang on, I've got a few potions. Oh, what a nice guy. Look at this. A true gentleman. I mean, he dresses like one, and now he definitely acts like one. Well, Orenji, I wish you luck. I've got to get off to Mekong City to get my second badge. Smell you later. Mekong City? Huh? Who's Kong? Am I Kong? Me Kong? Who knows? But here is the rocket leader that he was talking about. You want to defeat me? Don't make me laugh. I hope you enjoyed your ride because it ends here. Oh, man. I don't want this ride to ever end. It's been such an awesome one so far. Why would we want it to end right now? Plus, this dude has really only got one Pokemon, like, uh, I don't know about this, man. You're talking a lot of smack, but when it comes down to it, I can see through the fakeness of your pseudo Wudo, like I see through the fakeness of your Team Rocket organization. And I know, well, I was going to say about pseudo Wudo, it's a rock type, so, yeah, we could definitely make quick work of that. Unfortunately, one Razor Leaf was not quite enough to take him out, and yep, he definitely has a potion. Just a regular potion though, dude? Really? Not even the super or the hyper? Like, whoever's running Team Rocket now, it's not definitely not Giovanni. That dude knew how to keep their Rocket grunts up and running. Like, he would give them good stuff. This time around, nope, just the regular old potion. Like, whoever's running this joint has got to take better care of his dudes. How could I be defeated by a child? Um, you got defeated by a monkey, dude. That wasn't even me. You think defeating me will end our plans? Of course it won't. As I speak, we have members talking over other places in Voltan. Our global plans will never be stopped. Farewell, child. Whoa, wait, what? Floaturn is actually here, or at least we heard it. I mean, it made the cry of, uh, Charizard, but I I'm not really sure. Where is this thing? I mean, it's somewhere around here. I don't know. Maybe we'll find it at some other point, but for now, nothing. Oh, wait. This is actually our rival Azure that we got to nickname, so I don't know why I thought he was Max or Harry, but I know Max and Harry are the creators of this game at one point whenever this was being created. By you being here unharmed, I'm guessing you managed to dispatch a Team Rocket. That's an incredible and wonderful feat, buddy. What's that? You and your Pokemon are feeling the heat. Here, let me heal you up. Ooh. Why are you healing? Like, maybe that's a little bit too much healing right now, but it looks like maybe there's a whole nother route still going on past here, so that's why he's healing us. 
Uh, but hey, he's talking about a Pokemon egg. I didn't accept it though. However, I most definitely must be off if I'm going to make it to Mekong City before nightfall. I'll see you another time in another place. Why are you going back in the forest? Hold on, I'm co so confused right now because he went over this way to get to Mekong, but now he's going back in the forest. So who really knows where Mekong City is at this point, but all eyes knows is that a Bellsprout is in our way, and that means we've got to peck it down. Because free experience, man, why not? Uh, but yeah, I don't, I don't actually know who he was referring to that gave him a Pokemon egg, but I'm hoping that that person which he speaks of will be up ahead kind of soon because I love me some Pokemon eggs, man. I don't, you just never know what the heck is going to hatch from him. I'm lost. Time to soothe my feelings with a battle. Oh, we'll do that. I don't know if it's going to soothe your feelings much because, well, let's just say I don't think this is going to end too well for you, Mr. Fisherman. Um, but now that we're talking about it, I am really excited for this Pokemon egg, but for whatever reason, I was not really thinking about it before, but I can't remember like any of the original Pokemon Sienna playthrough I did. So even though it's a nice trip down memory lane, like kind of nostalgic feeling that I have played this game before, I feel like the beta, maybe the beta is really different from the one that I played back then, or maybe it's actually still really similar, but either way, it just feels like I completely forgot everything that this game had to offer. And even though I did like end up rewatching that first episode again, um, just because, I don't know, it's weird to really look back and see how videos, or how my videos used to be in comparison to now. I mean, I wouldn't really say, like, I have no idea whether or not I've improved that much or not, but, I don't know. Um, it's just interesting to watch those old videos and think that I don't remember any of this game at all. Like, even though I've, I guess I've just played so many Pokemon games at this point that they kind of seem to blend in at some point, and, uh... The thing that sticks out most to me are really, really cool looking Fakemon. Like, I can always remember the starters usually that I, like, start off with. That is kind of redundant, isn't it? The starter you start off with. Maybe that's why they're called starters. Oi, dude! I need some practice! Okay. Well, let's give him that practice. What? What kind of... Okay. I just don't understand these trainers anymore, man. They really talk to smack, but... Then again, maybe it's because I'm not used to reading the trainers' dialogues, but... The one time I do, it seems like they all just say the most, I guess, generic way of, uh, Hey, I'm gonna win this battle. Whoa, speaking of winning battles, here's a Ralts. I don't really know what's up with my segues today. Like, this has nothing to do with winning our battle. Well, hey, we won the battle in the end against the little Ralts, so maybe I predicted that I would kill it in one hit. Because I actually kind of wanted to catch one. I don't really know why I have a kind of a thing for Ralts, I guess. I just really like that Pokemon. So every time I see a Ralts, I'm like, whoa, gotta catch this thing, even though... It's probably really not that rare in most games nowadays, but I guess maybe I just hold something for Ralts where in that original games he was in, Wally would always find him in the grass. Like, he, that's how they do the tutorial for showing you how to catch Pokemon, is Wally goes up and runs into a Ralts. So then as a kid, I would always try to go look for a Ralts in there, and it was just super rare, so I, I don't know, I would barely ever find one. And so I guess now for some reason it's engraved in my brain that Ralts is forever gonna be this like rare kind of Pokemon. And I always want to catch one, even though, I don't know, I kind of really like Gallade. Gardevoir, well, I like Mega Gardevoir, actually. I don't know what I'm talking about, but he's a little skitty. Is it just me or is Skitty's face, like, abnormally pink right now? Oh, man, I really hope we hit this Thunder Punch. Come on. Yes. Nice. I don't know what the percentage is on hitting through a cute charm. I think it might be 50-50, but I don't know why. For some reason, I also always think, like, it's way higher than that. Like, you're never going to hit somebody if you're charmed up. Maybe just personal experiences with uh, Whitney's Mill Tank or something like that too. Or Whitney's something, I don't know. I know I fought some Whitney that always makes you get attracted to her Pokemon, I guess. And I don't know, it's just not a fun time, man. When you go like 10 turns without being able to hit the enemy, it's, it's not a good time. But we got a shot at redemption with this Ralts. And uh, this time around, we're not going to one-shot it. So, hey, my dream will come true. I don't really know why specifically I want to catch this thing so bad. But I really do, so we're gonna catch ourselves another Ralts. Also, I keep- I think I've had like a bunch of Ralts in playthroughs before. I know at least I've had Wooju the Gallade for sure, so... Maybe this time around, it'll be him once again. Let's go, Wooju the Gallade. If I had a Gardevoir though, I just can't really remember the nicknames I usually give him right now. I feel like I have usual nicknames for most Pokemon that I tend to use playthrough to playthrough, but... Other times, I just tend to forget. Like I said, I can be a kind of forgetful person, but not really. I guess I just have a very selective memory. Like, I'll definitely remember, like I said, things that are just very impactful. Like, um, 
starter Pokemon in certain games. Anyway, Bugcatcher Greg totally stepping it up here with his hair cross. Oh man, wait, what? You actually survived that. Wow. Too bad his only attack was tackle. Like, literally hyped it up for nothing, dude. It was like, whoa, a hair cross. But wait, all he's got is tackle. So I'm not too sure about that. But the link we already at level 18. I have a feeling I should definitely uh, train up some more Pokemon. I was going to say I was training up, or I did say I was going to train up Magbit. And then I kind of forgot about switching him in and out uh -huh, after those two first battles. So yeah, full lane having that pickup ability. Pretty cool. We're going to keep getting a couple berries, maybe better items at some point. But right now, I believe we have made it to the next city. But advertisement, Fox is now showing your favorite TV shows twice a day. That's right, we advertise in Hacks now. Why advertise Fox though? I don't think really anybody watches TV, but... Oh well, we got that advertising. Hello there, youngster. Welcome to our tiny city. I hope you enjoy your stay. That's actually not too far off from the... Whoa, what? Are you kidding me, dude? I was just talking to you. Hello there, what's your name? No, I don't... Why? What? My friends like to call me Dave, or they would if I had any. Any what? Well, oh, friends. Oh, wow. Self-burn, huh? Anyway, I'm kind of like Ganja's eccentric old fool who shows budding trainers where the Pokemon gym is. Come on, I'll take you there. Okay, well, that's exactly what I was looking for anyway. Oh, I can see one of our rivals there by that little building. Gotta say, I don't know. Our rivals haven't been too much of a challenge so far. You're lucky I brought you here. A lot of trainers pass by this gym without noticing it. You've got to be pretty stupid to miss it. But that doesn't matter. I now have a policy to take new trainers to the gym to make sure they get their battle in. I never like to leave budding trainers empty-handed. Let me see if I can find something for you. What, are you gonna pull out some lint out of your pocket and just give us whatever you got? Oh, wow, running shoes? And they happen to be my size too. Wow. Isn't old man Dave just the best friend you could have ever asked for? I love this guy. Well, you got where you wanted. You got some running shoes, and I got the fulfillment of helping a young child. What a great day this has been. I'm off now. I wish you luck with your future endeavors. What a strange old man. What the heck? Hey, at least he gave us the running shoes and... Oh, I can't move. Okay, now I can finally move. Well, I guess it took him that long to get back over to where he was. So, before we take on the gym, I was about to go in the Pokemon Center before that dude totally interrupted us. Uh, because we should totally heal up before we go take that on. And maybe we should actually talk to our rival as well, see why the heck he's here. Um, but I think I was going to mention that I had, there's definitely advertising in games now. It's kind of weird because... Video games have just become so big that you can actually have advertisements in them. I don't know why there weren't any earlier, but at least I think in newer generation games and uh, AAA titles, you definitely see some ads and billboards and stuff in real games or whatever. Actually, I've got a weak little Pokemon egg you can have. I need to find my keys first though. Go battle the gym leader or something. Oh wow. So I guess he does have the Pokemon egg for us. That's who he was talking about, um, our other rival, Azure. But... We gotta take on the gym first, so we're gonna do just that. The Ganges Pokemon Gym. Why is it so dark in here? Yo, you're a budding trainer. Why does everybody like saying budding? Sure, why not? Nancy uses normal types. Try using fighting types. Then you'll crush her. I don't think I have any of those, man, but if I did, I probably wouldn't use them anyway, just because normal type Pokemon, they're just, they're kind of normal, you know? So you can use whatever you want to take them down. I mean, of course, fighting is gonna make things easier for you, but... Really, just just go for whatever, huh? Is this is this even a normal type? Somehow I'm not believing this right now. This actually looks kind of like a ghost type to me. So, and you go for the confuse rate too. Could this be a normal and ghost type? Like I don't think that's ever has been or will be a typing, just because it kind of sounds super contradicting to itself. Plus, what would it even be weak to? I don't think it would be weak to ghost anymore. I mean, it'd be weak to a lot of things actually. Still, uh, dark type. And that's about all I can think of, actually. So maybe that's what we need, a ghost and normal type. That would be interesting. Or maybe that's exactly what this Pokemon is, considering this is a normal type gym. And it definitely looks like a ghost type to me. So finally, why? Oh my gosh. I was going to say finally we hit our Thunder Punch, but no, we actually missed it. I guess he keeps going for so many smoke screens that, oh my gosh, you've got to be kidding me. Come on, man. I should definitely switch out of here. I don't know why I'm still sitting in this battle. Look at this. Remember back at the beginning of this episode when I mentioned the fact that sometimes I have really lucky days. Sometimes we have kind of unlucky days. Well, I wouldn't say either one of the two so far. What the heck type are you? What is going on? 
Why is my pack not very effective? Oh gosh, there's there's definitely something more going on here, and I'm about to get to the bottom of it. Please don't confuse Reyes, thank goodness. I know we can live that, so come on, be super effective. Really? Really? Okay, well now we got the paralysis on him. No, I went for the wrong attack, what am I doing? I actually didn't even mean to attack, I meant to heal up. And now it's too late, because Apras is gonna be dead. And now I'm not even sure if I can take this thing out, what the heck? The Linkui just does no damage to it, doesn't even affect him, so okay. This thing is clearly like whatever typing it wants to be, is it a ghost and rock type? We're actually trying to take this thing down, one damage at a time. Come on, just hit him! No, please! We just need one more hit, oh thank goodness. Isopoli had to come through for us. I don't know how we got into that bad of a situation with that guy there, but... Ah, whatever. Isopoli managed to do it. Not enough for me, dude. That was just... That was sad. I gotta go heal up already. Alright, we got the potions. We got the team healed up and ready to go once again. So, uh, let's see if we can make our way through some more of this Ganja City Gym. Wow! You wandered into my pass. What does that mean? What are you passing to me? Uh... I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Then I get... Whoa, sorry. Uh, I was really confused with the last battle as well, so... Maybe this gym is just meant to cause disarray and confusion amongst everybody. Because that's literally all I've been feeling so far. But, hey, at least she's only got a Meowth, which seems a little bit easier to take down than whatever that Ghost Torm was. Man, I still can't figure out what the heck typing that thing was. I figure it must have been a, a Rock and Ghost type or something. Maybe, like... The thing is, I don't really know much about electric type. I know that what they're super effective against, but I don't know what resist electric type exactly. Uh, so yeah, maybe one of you guys can help me figure this out right now, because... I don't know, I think I'm just brain farting right now. Like, I definitely know my Pokemon type advantage most of the time, but... This time around, I'm just not figuring it out, so... Whatever. I also don't really know why I'm going for Thunder Punch over and over, like, the animation looks really cool, but... We'd definitely be doing more damage to these guys if we were going for Razor Leaf. Uh, since we get that stab bonus, so yeah, maybe I'll start going for that more often now. But anyway, I totally went into the wrong Pokemon here. Orfly is gonna get intimidated, um, but maybe that's not too bad because I, I guess Orfly being a little bug early Pokemon is actually evolves really early too. So who knows if we can get this thing to get some level ups and maybe evolve as well uh, so that we can at least see all the evolutions of everything. But yeah, Snubble, my man, you might have the intimidating intimidate. But you're not actually very intimidating, you just, you go down in one hit, so... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of meant to go for Magbit, uh, I want to keep training him up. I mean, we have been doing a, a decent job so far, but he doesn't really have very good moves. And until he gets some good moves, I just don't think he's going to be too helpful in these battles, so... Let's keep it on going, Magbit. Um, maybe not my smartest idea going into Swablu here on Epras, but... Wait, Swablu is not a Dragon type yet, so this will totally take it out. Wow, what? Really? Are you kidding me? How did we not take it out in one hit and we get put to sleep too? Like, oh, the unluckiness continues, man. Okay, I'm not dealing with this. Magbit, you have got to deal with this for me, buddy. You've got this. One, really? You do no damage. You really do that little damage. Okay, well, hopefully we can survive another... You missed your sing. That's actually better than surviving another hit from it uh, because I don't think we would have. We literally had... 13 HP, and we took 13 damage, so... Probably would have died right there if it wasn't for Swablu missing that sing, or... You know, being dumb with the growl, I guess. Um, but... Whatever, I've been pretty dumb so far this episode, so... Why do you have a Clefable? Are you freaking serious, dude? Clefable is the bane of my existence, and even though it's probably not a fairy type in this game, because, you know... This game is pretty old now, so... Don't think fairy type was around back then. Clefable is still so annoying, like, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I've been playing a little bit more competitive Pokemon, just trying to figure out uh, the meta, I guess. Not really figure out the meta, but just trying to play more for fun, I guess, and, uh, I don't know, get ready in a sense for Sun and Moon, because I really want to try to do some Wi-Fi battling, or try to get more into the competitive side of things when that does come out, so. Either way, the whole point I'm trying to bring up is that Clefable is the worst right now, like, I don't know why, I, I feel like I see Clefable in every single, at least, OU game. And, uh, it's the main of my existence, man. It's just, it is not fun to deal with. But, thankfully in this game, Delinqui is just amazing at hitting those multi-hit Fury attacks. I don't even know if he has, I don't think Skill Link even exists here, so that's not an option. But, it feels like we literally have Skill Link right there. We hit 
five and then four and holy moly that was that was fantastic man i gotta commend you for that delinqui uh so i think there might be one more trainer yep i'm nancy's most loyal follower he will not progress well i don't know about that I'm all about making progress nowadays, so we're gonna progress right over you. Ooh, Iris! My favorite Flash character. Not really, actually, yeah. I think I think Cisco might be my favorite, but... Hey, if you guys watch the Flash TV show, who's your favorite character? Let me know uh, down in the comments if you're still watching this video, too. Let me know, definitely, what your favorite Flash character is. I don't know why I just randomly asked that, but... I guess because her name was Iris, I thought about the show, and... Uh, I've been trying to catch up on that as well. I know I kind of talk about that show a lot, but... For some reason, this season, I haven't really been able to keep up with it, so... Yeah, now now I think I'm all caught up, though, so... Pretty exciting. I'll get to watch the finale live or, you know, in person... Wait, what is the right word I'm looking for here? I guess I'm caught up, basically, so I'll get to watch the finale as it comes out, which will be pretty exciting. Anyway, I don't think the finale's actually even coming for a little bit, so... I guess all that is left for us to take on now is the Gym Leader Nancy, but as I mentioned, our Pokemon are a little bit beat up right now, so... We're gonna head back and heal up. And now we're ready for Nancy, or at least I guess we're as ready as we'll ever be. I don't really know if we're ready because these battles have been a little bit annoying so far. Mostly using, you know, confusion and para hacks to their advantage, but I don't know what she'll do. Hello, budding trainer. Are you kidding me? That's it, man. I'm done with people saying budding trainer. I'm Nancy, the gym leader here. I presume you want a battle, so be it then. Time to test your destiny. Oh. Nancy, you seem pretty basic. I mean, I'm not just saying that because you have a normal gym, but... I don't know, maybe your Pokemon too? No, Eevee's actually kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. I don't know why. I guess I just thought because she has the normal gym, she's pretty basic. Uh, she also says budding trainer, which every single other person around here seems to say, so... Maybe everybody around here, instead of being basic, they're just all very budding, you know? It's like, oh, whatever that means. But her Iron Tail Eevee... Not too sure about that, so let's go for the Thunder Punch, and, uh, again, not really sure why I'm not going for Razor Leaf, so let's go for Razor Leaf this time. That'll probably take it out. Whatever her next Pokemon is, though, hope it's not... Wow, we even got a critical hit there. I was gonna say, I hope it's not really, like, an Eevee. I hope it's a little bit something tougher, like, uh, ooh, a Granbull. Okay, I like that. I'm gonna go out to Magbit still, though, because that free experience, man, can't give it up, but... Not really too sure much about Granbull. I think it became a pure fairy type in uh, the newer generations, but back here, it definitely used to be a normal type. And I gotta say, I don't really know why this thing is a fairy in the newer games. Like, if you look at it now, it's just the dog that stands on two legs. Like, it kind of reminds me of Meowth to an extent. Um, except Meowth is, of course, a cat, and then this is like the dog version of Meowth. Maybe there's another Pokemon too that's kind of like that, but... Then again, there's also Meowth and Rattata, you know, they've got their thing going on, the cat and mouse game. Um, wait, maybe that's Meowth and Pikachu, actually, but... Either way, the cat and the mouse and the and the dog... Granbull is the dog in the situation. And so I thought it was kind of fitting of him being a normal type. Uh, so when he became fairy type, I was like, what the heck? The thing is, Snubble has always been known as the fairy Pokemon. I just never really saw it looking like a fairy, personally. At least, especially Granbull. Like, I don't know. Does it make sense to you guys? Because it doesn't really to me. But, unfortunately, we missed that Razor Leaf. It's all good, though. I think if we can hit this next one, I don't think he'll die unless we critical hit. Oh, no. I can predict critical hits sometimes, but not all the time. It's weird, though, because I feel like uh, when I do predict the critical hits, it's always when they really, really matter, we end up getting them. So, perhaps the RNG was on our side before, but nowadays, we don't really need the RNG. We just need the wow. You see that? Now we get the critical hit. Are you kidding me? Maybe I did predict it after all. Who knows? But Magbit gets another level up and the attack trick, which I think just, yeah, switches items with the opponent. So I don't know if it's too helpful in this game just because I don't really know if the trainer's enemies have items. But if they do, you could always steal yourself something nice if it actually is a good item. A brass also level 19. But that is going to wrap up this gym battle. I got to say, Nancy... I was a little bit iffy about calling you basic at the beginning, but now I'm going to take it back. You definitely are super basic, and uh, we get the orange in badge. The worst client for gaming ever, I gotta say. I don't I don't like origin at all. Before you leave, take this, TM42. It contains facade. If you're triggered by me saying facade, uh, too bad. TM42, let's get it. 
And I guess that's about it. So go to Mekong City and collect your next gym badge. Good luck and Godspeed. Is God really that fast though? Well, then again, I guess if he's all powerful, must have quite a lot of speed, but never quite catch up to the Flash. The Flash has got all the speed. So with the Flash's speed, we will head out of this gym. And uh, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. So next time we will go and uh, figure out where the heck this kid went. He's probably just in his house and figure out what that Pokemon egg is. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you all, uh, greetings? <laughs>